in this short video, I will show you how the clock plugin works. Let's enter one of my playlists and let's open up a new slide. Uh, as you may already know, all of the content that you can add to your slides will be found in the top of the editor. And if you open up plugins, you will find some of the native plugins that you can add to your content. In this video, we will be taking a look at the clock. So let's add that to our slide. You can, of course, move the clock around. You can resize it using these corners. And if we look on the right side, you have all the settings for the clock itself. So the first thing we have is our time zone. You don't necessarily have to put in a time zone because as a default, the clock will be looking at the player's time zone. You can of course move the plugin up and down the layers. You can toggle on and off the second hand. You can toggle on and off the numbers on your clock face. And then of course you have the coloring. You can do a predefined color. You can put in your own color code or you can do it as a transparent background. To start with, we're just going to keep it red. And the border is also something you can change. And let's just do the same red. The hand colors is also changeable. We're going to keep ours in a white. And it's the same with the numbers. You can give them a custom color. The hand length is also adjustable so you can make them shorter you can change the font of your numbers and you can add a gradient border so let's go up here and pick a black color let's activate or toggle on our gradient border and you will see how that looks now, if you want this to look more custom, more like your other content, then maybe adding a background image to your clock would be a better solution. So in my case, I'm going to add an image. And as you can see, it will be on top of the clock. So I'll have to move that backwards, then activate the clock to get to the settings and if I were to make my background transparent and my and my border transparent then you have a beautifully looking clock I can even remove my numbers if they're too disturbing and of course you can mark both of these elements to move them around or resize them 